The Pat Kenny Show on News Talk. Starting in 1920 in South India, The Tainted is a novel based on the true story of the mutiny by the famous Irish regiment, the Connaught Rangers. It's set in India and in Ireland, and we learn how this short-lived mutiny has far-reaching repercussions for the children and grandchildren of those who took a stand. Now, the anniversary of this is the 28th of uh, June this year, when it will be 100 years ago. Now, to talk about her new novel, uh, Kaviri Madhavan is on the line. Good morning and welcome. Hi, Pat. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me on your show. Now, I've been reading up about the uh, Connacht Rangers mutiny in anticipation of our conversation, and it's it's very interesting, the genesis of it, um, sometimes disputed, but tell us about your researches and how it led you to novelise what happened. Well, I actually came across this story unexpectedly, uh, Pat. Uh, I was at a reception at the Indian Embassy in Dublin, and in, in just in passing conversation, I overheard somebody talk about the mutiny. And, you know, my, my aunt and I went up straight away. I had just finished my, my second book, and I was looking, you know, I was on the lookout for a story. And um, I began researching it. Um, uh, and as you say, you know, the, the what what exactly happened is depends on, you know, whose version you're listening to. Um, you know, I, I think the, the the conclusive book, or rather the, the the book that's most believable, is a book by a man called Anthony Babington, and um, you know he didn't take any sides. Uh, he he told the story as I think as it was, and I think it was a combination of um, you know Republican ideals, um, boredom, um, the heat, and the you know frustration of the men, you know, with, with those three things combined. Uh, that that uh, that had the mutiny like that. I mean, I mean the uh, standard narrative in Ireland would be that the soldiers who were all Catholic mutinied because of the atrocities committed by the Black and Tans in Ireland. Uh, it had to be put down. Would be the British version because if it spread to other Irish regiments in India, it would have been absolutely disastrous for the Crown. So yes, it was put I down. Yep. Yes, yeah, 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 you're, you're absolutely right. I mean, you know, th there's no doubt that, um, you know, the, the black, what was happening in Ireland with the black and tans contributed towards the mutiny. Of that, there's no doubt. And uh, also the way the mutiny was quelled very, very quickly because, you know, there were so many other Irish regiments in the British Raj in India. And if that mutiny had had spread... Um, which is what the soldiers had hoped. In fact, they had, they had actually, you know, uh, they had actually moved. Uh, a couple of soldiers had actually gone by train to to another uh, garrison town, you know, to try and spread the word. So uh, the mutiny was quelled very brutally, um, you know, just for, for that very reason. That if it had spread, you know, the, the Raj would have come to an end sooner. The empire would have come to an end sooner than, than it did in the end. And people were shot uh, in the course of putting it down. Uh, many were court-martialed. Uh, were some actually executed? Yes, yes. Uh, the very young soldier called James Daly from uh, Turrell's Pass in uh, Westmead. He, you know, he was very young. He was he was executed, um, and he was actually uh, he was the last soldier to ever be executed for mutiny, uh, to be shot for mutiny. Uh, you know, um, November now, would be the anniversary of that. He presumably inspires uh, your character, Private Michael Flaherty. Yes, that's right. Um, you know, Pat, I, I, I started writing the book and, uh, you know, and I, it was to be the story of the mutiny of the Connacht Rangers. But uh, about, you know, about three chapters into it, uh, you know, I, I realized that I was going to have to fictionalize the regiment um, because, you know, just the, the, you know, a regiment only has one adjutant and one colonel and one chaplain. And I didn't want to be putting words in and, you know, fictionalizing people who actually did exist. So uh, I then switched, you know, I, I based it very, very closely on the mutiny. Uh, but I, I fictionalized my regiment. And because I live in Kildare uh, and I've lived here, it's my home uh, for, for a good 20 years now. Uh, so I, I fictionalized the regiment and called them the Kildare Rangers. And my young soldier, Michael Flaherty, comes from the townland that I live yeah. in. Uh, called Art Clock. 
Now, uh, the book is in two parts. The, the the mutiny, which is set at the time of the, the mutiny and in the aftermath, 1920 to 1945. And then uh, the second part is the sitar guitar girl, which is a more modern um, follow-up historically to the remnants, if you like, of some of the characters that you've laid down in the first part. I don't want to get yes. uh, too much away, but people will be interested about the genesis of the term, the tainted. Who were the tainted? Okay, so, um, you know, the tainted actually is three, in, in this book, the tainted are three groups of people. So it's the, the Irish Catholic soldiers who, uh, you know, just by enlisting and serving the crown were tainted by that association. Um, then the, the second group were the Ang Anglo-Irish uh, officers who, you know, who were tainted by, just by being Anglo-Irish. They were never English enough. They were never Irish enough. And then the third group were actually, you know, the, the project are the Anglo-Indians, you know, people of mixed race in India who were the progeny mainly of uh, soldiers of the, of the Raj. Uh, many, many hundreds and thousands of them had Irish uh, fathers and, and forefathers. Uh, you know, these, these, were, these were children that were born of, uh, you know, relationships that many, many soldiers would have had, uh, children that were abandoned because they were mixed race. The, the relationships with, with Indian women were never legitimized by, by the soldiers. So, uh, so, you know, three groups of tainted people. And when I started writing this book, it was meant to be the story of the mutiny. But very quickly, I realized that the, the re there was a real story to be told about, uh, you know, these about Anglo-Indian people, the, the children that, that were fathered by Irish, Irish men, uh, whether, they were in, whether they were serving in the army or whether they were in the civil service. Um, you know, Irish people were in India for over 300 years serving in different capacities. Uh, they kept the empire ticking. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of their uh, illegitimate children, their progeny left behind are are the Anglo Anglo Indian people, and they were definitely tainted. And in as far as as far as Indian, uh, in, in in the eyes of India, in the eyes of modern India, they were tainted because they were mixed race. So well, you know, I, I felt that a, there was a real story there. And there is a real story there. A wonderful, wonderful novel to read. As I say, that the, it's a mixture. Of, well, there's a romance uh, at the beginning. I'll say no more than that. There is tragedy. <laughs> there is history, you know, based on the Connor Rangers. I would recommend it to everyone to read. It's a great uh, lockdown read if you're looking oh, for something to read. Thank you. Now, I, tell I appreciate us, that. Can people get it online now? That, that's the most important thing. Yes, absolutely. It's it's available online. Uh, I know for certain that uh, Gutter Bookshop at gutterbookshop.com are stocking it. It's available on Amazon if you're willing to wait a little bit. Uh, it's just you know, it's not that it's it's not that they're not posting out. It's just that a bit slower. And it's also available through my uh, publishers at their uh, website, hopeproadpublishing.com. All right. Well, Kaviri Madhavan, thank you very much for joining us. And the title of the novel again is The Tainted. The Pat Kenny Show on News Talk.